Uh, should I be louder a little bit or should I... Should I adjust my volume in any way? Because you say that I should like put it up to zero and I'm, I'm probably gonna look into that. This is why one has a limiter. Uh, that is true. I actually always, well, didn't always have that. Just looked into it. It's it's a bit trickier to set up, so I think it needs a bit of fine tuning. No offense, but I've produced music for over ten years, so I do know what I'm talking about. I believe it. Oh crap! He saved the guy. Volume is absolutely fine. For that. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of going more like feeling it at this point. Just like, yeah, this is fine. Maybe I, I need to like up it a little bit. <clears throat> I don't like the feeling when it's just slightly. Um, I need to up the volume. It just it's just so annoying. I think it's pretty important to have the volume, right? And it's definitely better to err on the side of uh, louder than than uh, than not. I look into it, but when I was uh, checking it, I actually found uh, like minus five or or like close to zero, a bit too loud. So let's see. Also, the kind of problem is that uh, you may be using a better. Uh, Hardware than than me. Uh, cheaper microphones like the one I'm using right now uh, may have more of a problem uh, if you use a higher volume. The you you sacrifice voice clarity. Uh, sounds fine to me, but everyone has uh, different gain structures depending on audio hardware and software they're using for listening. I'm an audio engineer, so no worries. Software gain too. Like uh, equal equalizer built in. And to sound cards and stuff like that. Okay, uh, just... The Necker Warrior. <laughs> We might want to move, I don't know. But we could have played the Drowner. Probably a better idea. Yeah. But, now we're gonna use it. We got the Fire Scorp. Oh, he's not using it? Uh, then go Drowner, kill it. To work! Um, by the way, anyone? Well, in, uh, they're gonna wonder in the video what the hell I'm doing. I'm kind of following John here, playing things. I suppose it kind of matters on what you mean by... I, I should get it to zero, that that's what you are suggesting. But sometimes I'm gonna be louder and I suppose it I kind of ups... Uh, the limiter comes into play. So I guess I need to look into it more. I, I can up it by like 5 decibels. Or not 5 decibels, really. I don't know, we'll, we'll look... I'm gonna look into it how much, but I can up it a little bit, but... I can't really up it like, uh, by 10. That would be too much. Beat the current settings. Go with that.
I think he's fine. I have everything really boosted because uh, some streamers are super low. But I'm not pushing my gain at all. My end, so should be fine for everyone. Again, I, I yeah, I did really look into it. Uh, just recently, I was uh, making a video and uh, and I, I I changed it. Actually, lowered it by 1.5 decibels because I I was finding it too loud. Damn. Actually, I can play old spear tip here. Obviously, that's my goal that. Uh, People can enjoy the stream before be, uh, without uh, them adjusting uh, their volumes. Because I think that's a little bit. <clears throat> I haven't played this game for quite a while since the last big update. Is it still good? Seems to be dead on Twitch. Holy crap. In peace. Uh, I would just recommend you to just try it yourself. Uh, they're definitely... This is a very common question, by the way. Uh, there are definitely uh, perks that I miss from the old Gwent. But um, if you feel like playing some Gwent... Uh, wait a second, that was eaten. Or, I mean, like, that was locked and I, not, and I should eat it, me. Okay, maybe we're just gonna eat that. But... Actually, this is tricky. Now, let's just eat that. Then we can play... Riders. And we can play another fruit. Alright, let's go with that. Um... Hey, tumor on the nipple, by the way. I would... Yeah, just, just play it. I think it's okay. I play it from time to time. <clears throat> Of course it sounds fine, but one needs to have the volume at a similar level to the ads that, pl that, ju that play. Just never let it go over uh, zero decibel. The Nordling's hatred for us. Oh, that's annoying. So do I keep playing? I can play 10 points here. Like Twitch ads? Do you guys have Twitch ads on? It's fun, but we need new cards ASAP. Well, I'm always up for more content. Okay, this is nice. Does he have some crazy finisher? I don't think so. Uh, this is actually pretty strong. I think we're just gonna keep all of that. And pass. <clears throat> there you are. Digital clipping is a massive no-no. One can clip in analog from farm. When I stream, I use a VSD. Sausage fattener. Add some sexy death. But in digital, you want... To get as close to zero decibel as possible because of the audio compression. I'm just gonna be honest here, uh, um, John. I think I need to look into it more myself because uh, it's not as clear just from that description. Uh, Twitch compresses audio, and with a small dynamic range, having uh, sound at low level removes so much of detail. Yeah, it definitely sounds a lot better. Like, it, it's definitely important to have it at a, at a high enough level. Just, just the question is, like, how high it needs to be. The baby have a Master of Disguise? That's true. He might have that.
I tried to use that guy myself, but he didn't enjoy uh, success all the time. Could be worse. Things are okay as long as Gwen streamers don't start playing Dota Auto Chess. I don't know why people play that anyway. What the fuck? Is that so good? Maybe you should just play the Vercat pretty early. I don't think we're gonna get crazy value out of it. Honestly, this is a moot point, as your volume sounds good. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just really kill it? Why? But the point is, there's always uh, more to learn about it. Even me, who is not an uh, audio engineer by any means, uh, came to the conclusion that, you know, it should sound a little bit better. And I was unhappy with that. I think the main, main thing that I, I, I found that uh, noise suppression uh, quality does change quite a bit. Uh, from the one that's built into OBS is what what I wouldn't really recommend. It's very convenient to use, so it has that going for it. But the one I'm using right now is a is a VSD plugin uh, that was uh, what I found from uh, some searching, and it's pretty pretty uh, pretty customizable. I'm not sure. Like I think it's like a Reaper. Uh, VSD plugin that some guy customized and it sounds great uh, after some customizing it myself and it just it just basically just cuts out all the all, all the things that I want to cut out without actually uh, compromising the audio uh, quality so I guess it's a big winner <clears throat> oh look at that he lost connection, guys. Poor guy. I don't know, but all the artifact streamers started playing a Dota chess. I'm actually really into this conversation, by the way. Uh, don't be mistaken. I'm really, I really like talking about uh, like basically anything interesting. That's basically what I do. Maybe some well, don't know me, but I I just like. Just read about all the interesting stuff, just watch a bunch of YouTube videos about um, varying topics. Really. I, I'm really into this. Also, uh, I, I think the guys in the chat could uh, uh, find it interesting as well. Oh, look at that! We won! It was a really unfair victory because he lost connection. Anything could have happened. If he doesn't lose connection. What a poor guy. But GG. Anyway. Cheap win for me. I'm only... Oh. So... Maybe kick... Ciliano Harpy? Hmm. What else we want to kick? Maybe a Necro Warrior? Go with that. We're gonna chew our fruit. With Necro... Be a good start. I think in the past I, I used to change my voice a little bit. I didn't well when I was uh, <clears throat> talking English, not not significant, but a little bit I changed my voice. Uh, tried to speak clearer. Uh, <gasps> Maybe I don't put in uh, too much effort these days. But I think it just it just sounds fine. You guys can understand me just fine. It is just something that I naturally kind of try to do. Because obviously I'm not... Uh, well, English is not my first language. So I put in a little bit more effort to... 
you guys can understand me. But I don't think it's really needed at this point. Or should their VSD? Sausage fattener. Ah. Makes everything sound like a god. Is this like a free VSD you can download? No, it's a buy here. I, I imagine it just makes your uh, sound like um, voice sound deeper. I mean. I was like a sergeant. Where are you going? Do you think the killer unit with eight or more power cards like Geralt, Leo, Ike, or are too strong? Forge with bodies? That's a good question. I'm curious how uh, the chat thinks about it. Because I kind of like the idea of it, that we have cards that punish big units. And these are pretty binary units, because although they have a body, you wouldn't really want to have them if you can't use them properly. And of course the advantage of Scorch is that you might be able to use it on two units, but that of course is more situational. So, not sure. In some cases, they don't work out. Uh, Leo is apparently actually one of the, uh, one of the best, and uh, sometimes I, I really struggle to make him work. I was uh, suggested uh, by uh, some of you so to uh, put in instead uh, Gera Professional because he can can break. Even though that Leo is really good. I'm not sure if they are too good. They are definitely binary. Sometimes they are great. Sometimes they brick. So... I suppose you're not gonna feel that great about it. They, sometimes they are just really strong. Like, imagine using it against a uh, Hubert. Like, whoa! Using it against big monsters. But if you're just up against, like... They have nothing. Okay, how are you going to use it? <laughs> Pretty hard to get value out of it. Do that. The hell I tour <laughs> story. No door is close to me. Uh, now locking that by guy would be actually pretty good. So maybe we're gonna do that. Irvin. Also, we can get out uh, the Vault Hunt Rider. that good enough? So these... These are gonna go up. And that should be good enough. Of course we can uh, boost as well. Maybe we should just do that. I'm not sure this guy has a lot of uh, units. That I uh, want to lock. <clears throat> And that's obviously gonna be good value! What's up, Morvan? Yeah, we won't be able to gain a card here. Must be really somehow. I don't know. 
Not gonna happen. Well, Leo got a little bit of value here. And this is not great. So we can play the Rider and get... Uh, 12 value out of it. If I'm not mistaken. No? We... Well, we are tied for the biggest unit. Which makes it okay to play. But obviously we are kind of in a, in a tricky situation right now. I want to eat the Veracat. Nothing really else. And of course, Old Spear Tip is nice to play. But I'm also in no rush to eat the Veracat either. Yeah, no, no. We gotta eat it now. The thing is, if I play Vivas now, then we play Bruce. Then... Bruce would actually be more valuable. Because it also boosts uh, the Drowners and the Gurnichoras fruit. Because it's not... it's gonna... well, this is gonna be a 5, then this is gonna be a more than 5. But if I play this first... Then the 5 is not going to trigger all of these. I can play this for 7, and that should be good enough. Just boost somebody, doesn't matter. Then we can play Bruis. Should be good enough. He did play one of his... Uh, Hero powers. Chiron X. Doesn't matter much. Well, let's play Bruis. That. This should be a decent swing. The thing is, I could be holding a card that's just completely useless uh, for push. Also, of course, this is just extremely strong. Let's just see. It would be nice to see, uh, well, some of these, uh, big units, uh, getting played next turn, or maybe this turn, who knows. Beast or man, makes no difference to me. That's, okay. But can he take it? I think this is just gonna take it, and we gotta play it. Else we lose a card. That's 14 points. And now he would need to... Get a lot of points. But how? I don't think he can do it. Unless it's like... Okay. Don't don't type in Geralt. Some, something like that. Something like that would take it, but no. Like a warrior. Pretty good. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I'll take it. So. I don't really want to go crazy here. I think maybe I just go for a. Like a. Little bit longer round three. Bow, barbarian. Bow low. Maybe it's just going to delete my goal. Yeah. So. I don't even need to care about that anymore. I want to draw into my Vispus, maybe my Alpha Verwolf. Okay, we got the the most important part. 
that. This is really good. I think we should just keep it. Looks good. Order will triumph. It must triumph. New plus leader. Oh. Hey, Gurnachura. Uh, off of Airwolf in the back. Feels six damage. Pretty damn good. Oh my god. Well, the biggest he has is a five, and the biggest I have is a five. Not okay. Forgive me, but I must destroy you. Screw you, mate. You can just hit that by six. Ah, this is disgusting. Also, if I play one of the fives now, it kind of makes more sense. Because the variable is going to buff by that. Alright, let's do that. And... If I could somehow kill his seven... That would be pretty good. But I'm not sure how would I pull that off. I don't think I can send in the Werewolf. He can't be targeted. Why didn't you Osral? You always do that in the current meta? Too many blue dreams? Yeah. Well, I made a mistake. That, that could just cost me the entire game. The thing is, it actually makes sense to play uh, Cap uh, Count Coldwell in the back Unless and send them in. Fuck! Coming now. In the front. I messed up. Sometimes I, I think of the plan, but I don't execute it correctly. It doesn't matter any anyway. Okay, uh, Count Coldwell would betray me, so we're gonna Cyclops. Send him in on the Nilfgaardian Knight. That was the plan B. Still gives us something to eat, kind of. Not as great. But it's better than that. And we are a little bit afraid of a Peter, so... We're just gonna go like that. And um, ultimately we're just not gonna be as punished, I think. Time for a beating! Game Gimpy. Gee. Never punished? It was all all part of the plan. Just to make him feel a little bit more confident about his victory. Just to make the defeat all the more sweeter. GG. Hey, Calvate! Uh, we gotta kick the goal. Just to have more freedom by pushing round one. Mm, I don't need two guys. Only have, oh, three ways to despair bad. Okay, Gurney Shurik plays in the front. And we gotta do a uh, Necker in the back. Why not? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Nadrak. How are you? I see you're embracing the broken cards of monsters. That is... that is indeed true. I am no Nilfgaardian. 
Let's hand Mr. Streamer. <laughs> it's good enough, guys. We're gonna make it work. Holy crap, what? Better when enemy receives boost, boosts off by the same amount? Really? Gotta get him. Not sure if it's gonna be good enough. But it's gonna be on the play, boy, right? What what triggers first? Kahir or, or Drowner? I think Drowner kills Kahir, right? Just move it. That wouldn't work because he would get boosted based on all the neckers. Where is my luck when I need it? It's a very awkward card. Guys, we're in trouble. What's the plan here? So let's say we play Bruce and eat Arcus Spore. I don't know, that's dumb. I, th I think we're pretty screwed here. He's gonna like, become insane. I actually have a lock, but I don't have it now. Do I just ignore him? Nah, that's just so dumb, isn't it? Go back! Wait, what? To a point. He doesn't boost? I thought better than him receives boost, boosts self by the same amount. So these are... This is just thriving. I thought... I thought we had something to fear here, but... Ah! Apparently no. Um, never mind that. We are just fine. I overestimated that card. Guess I can just uh, keep moving it around. Uh, maybe. Actually, that's not what we're gonna do. Move this guy in the back. He kind of wants to prevent my tactical advantage. I can still blow up Kahir later. After we play Bruis. Can we just play Werecat? Can we do a uh, Necker Warrior here? Good enough points. Is he a noob? <laughs> no, I'm sometimes mistaken. Doing chat feels bad. <laughs> Obedience or the lash. But it's technically boosting, okay? Huh. I can play the Verket in the back. Then we can Cyclops the Veracat. Oh fuck, that doesn't work. I can just knock your warrior. Nothing else, we can just uh, send in the Arcaspore to kill Kahir. But this is boost. Alright. We can just play the Necker Warrior for now. Good enough. Are there any Nilf Guardian decks who are not running the Witchers? They're quite popular. I even like this deck quite a bit more, because uh, we are not running the Witchers. Uh, feels like I, I have them in so many decks, but not in this one. It's kinda nice. 
Drive is your favorite archetype. Kind of fun. It's really a good way to generate a lot of value. Yeah, that guy would be nice. Oh, that could be nice. Now, I have Osrael and Goal, but unless I am willing to play just uh, like a random Goliath here, oh, they're kind of useless. I might just do that. I just play a random Goliath here. There's a little bit point. Also, he might just uh, Blue Dream it, and I'm in trouble again. There's no really good plan B uh, for the Osrael. I still might want to enable it. I think I'm just going to do it. Yeah, let's go with that. Hopefully he's not murdering it. I think I'm generally like uh, favored in longer round. Okay. So oh, I've unlocked that. Okay, you're probably playing a, a few cards here. If I'm playing a Harpy Egg. Then we're playing a Lock. Then we're playing a Bruce on the Egg. Old schools are here today. We're shaking bake. I don't know. Where's Hawksit, guys? We need him. Scott Advantage still a thing? Uh, most definitely. Yes. Okay, going for nine points, I believe. Oh, this is not terribly good, Dorigurai. But it's still six points, so terrible. Obviously, we need to follow up with Brewers here. Osrael is not something we're gonna play. I need to be careful because he can always just hero power and we're gonna be a tough spot. <clears throat> But as long as we can force out some... I don't know if we, want, we really want to force out a lot of people. Yeah, we gotta play this for sure. <laughs> Definitely a good swing. And after this we can reevaluate. Are we gonna weave us for... Actually only for 9. No thrive anymore. Azrael, probably not too relevant. We can play five, so after this we are passing. Hopefully, like he did play at a single Chiron X. He might play a unicorn along with that, but you know what? This is kind of okay. Hmm. What? Really? Well, sure. I'm kind of curious what he's gonna do with that. Yeah, Jim was here. Important and very hating. He does show up from time to time. When he initially started showing up, uh, the mods were disapproving of his. Uh, 
behavior a little bit. Kind of same thing with uh, Hawksit, but as far as I'm concerned, they, they really came through. Um, sometimes people are a little bit unusual, but still great. Um, oh, he actually had to use hero power, so this is extremely uh, successful. All new mods disapprove. We all know that Hayping loves you so much. Way too much. Invoke your gay power, he'll appear. <clears throat> uh, we do have some good cards in there. And uh, I only have. Well, we do have a bit better things on the menu now. I don't value the Cyclops that much here. Yeah. It's not great. Is, is he just gonna blue dream my guy right away? Plays Valtier at 100%. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay attention to that. So I'm just gonna play Go last, I guess. And we play Osdrell. Going to Chora. Go ahead. Also, one guy played uh, Gerald Jordan against me, so. Now I'm trying to play around it a little bit. <clears throat> he caught me off guard. He managed to win. What a bastard. Gotta get him. Praise be to the great son! That's actually not gonna affect. What I'm playing too much. Can this be at least a... Uh, oh, especially like this. Wouldn't you want to wanna lock the two or something like that? We can Osrael his stuff. We can play Osrael for seven. Then we can play Vivas for at least a nine. I think, yeah, that's a nine. So I think we just got Osrael here. And eat Seer. Four. I gotta be a little bit concerned about... Uh, having all my boost on the same row. Using a locked unit. Okay. He might lock something else as well. Also, we should buff Gurnitura's fruit. So, if he takes it... Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about Yordan. But he might lock the Necker. Take it. Well, we are not buffing the... The guy that's already locked. This results in a... It kind of depends on the... It makes more sense to go for the Gurnitura fruit. Just in case he steals it. Now let's just boost the, boost the neck here. Uh, that's just fine. Then we can get another fruit out. But if he has a Yordan... And we might want to play this way. I was too lazy to do the math, okay? Alba! Yeah. In this scenario, well, we win anyway. But we would have an extra fruit 
Actually, a fruit that's worth two, because we play the fruit, then we play the goal. Not sure what he's waiting for here, but I show him that it's pretty. What's up, dog hunt guy? Ah, oh, damn it! No happy guys. He beat him. GG.